I'm, I'm Jack Child. Mm -hmm. I uh, served three years in the United States Army. I was a military policeman and later military police investigator. Uh, I exited the Army after three years, went to college on the GI Bill, uh, joined ROTC and found myself uh, in the Air Force uh, flying uh, C-141s. I rose to the rank of captain. I was a, a 141 instructor pilot. And so I served about uh, 10 years. And I, so I like to say I retired without pay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what was the highest rank you, you reached in the Air Force? I, I made it to captain 03. So can you give us an overview about um, G-Force and your, um, your franchise opportunities? Sure. Uh, G-Force was uh, born of, uh, it really is kind of an, uh, an offspring of a previous brand that I had. Um, uh, we were in the uh, pavement maintenance and parking lot striping uh, businesses years ago. I franchised that and I'd tried uh, very hard to find uh, veterans to join our group. And it, it was a big challenge. I wound up selling that company in 2012. I had a five-year no-compete. And I wanted to get back in and uh, uh, into, the, uh, into the business, but I wanted to find a better way to recruit uh, veterans. Uh, I felt that it was a win-win, both as a franchisor, you've got franchisees who know how to follow a system, uh, show up on time, in uniform, get the job done. And also, I think it's a win for the veterans uh, who uh, want to get into a business, don't know where to start, don't know how to, uh, you know, uh, do branding, marketing, uh, selling, uh, business systems, and things like that. So I thought it was a a, a good way to uh, recruit veterans by making the brand about them. So uh, the G Force brand is is exclusive to military veterans. Uh, we're the first to make it exclusive just to veterans, and that's worked out real well because uh, frankly, recruiting into the parking lot striping business is, is kind of a heavy lift. Uh, most people don't think about, uh, you know, how the stripes on, on a parking lot get there, or mm -hmm. they don't realize that, that they're actually rejuvenated every couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting niche little business uh, by making the brand about the veterans, it causes them to say, and at least opens that door a little bit for us to have a conversation about why it might be a business for them to consider. Mm -hmm. I, I will say that not one of our uh, almost 30 franchisees uh, ever dreamed of being in the parking lot striping business. <laughs> uh, and, and, but once, once they, you know, kind of look under the tent, uh, dig around, do some research, talk to our franchisees. Uh, and once they do talk to our franchisees, it's generally really easy to recruit. We've got a lot of happy franchisees. We're very blessed. Mm -hmm. Is parking lot striping your only franchise or do you have other opportunities? So uh, we are currently in the process of uh, simultaneously launching three new brands. Uh, well, we just launched uh, Mach 1 epoxy floor uh, coverings. We do fancy garage floors. Um, we also, uh, there's big demand uh, in uh, big box stores, restaurants, airplane hangers, you know, uh, epoxy and similar type coatings is really big business right now. And so uh, we just sold our first two franchises and those were sold within our G-Force group. Two of our existing G-Force franchisees wanted to be on the ground floor of, of Mach 1. Um, another brand that is uh, coming to market is called Field Ops. Uh, Field Ops is a direct descendant of G-Force. We were getting a lot of inquiries to do athletic field marking our machines are sort of equipped to do it, but not uh, exactly right for uh, many of the fields. So we were turning away a lot of work. And uh, we were also turning a lot, away a lot of folks who wanted to get into G-Force, but the, the price point was a little high. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're designing Field Ops to be a super low cost franchise. If, if the uh, prospect has uh, as little as $20,000 and, and, and uh, a pickup truck, they can be all in between franchise fee, the equipment needed, training website. Um, it's a neat little niche business, probably ideal for someone who's retired, wants to run a business, but doesn't want an all consuming business. Um, Field Ops is, is kind of a neat spot. And then our, our last brand that we're launching will be uh, Paint Core. That's launching, I think about the time this uh, 
this interview comes out, it, it should be launched by uh, mid-January. Uh, Pain Corps is in Marine Corps, C-O-R-P-S. Um, this uh, franchise came about because our very first G-Force franchisee uh, has a brother-in-law who's in the painting business. And he was watching what was happening at G-Force. And he and I uh, got to know each other a little bit. And I kept telling me he was really in a good spot to franchise his business. And so he, he's finally decided to uh, franchise and share his success with other veterans. And uh, we had to rebrand because of some trademark issues with his current company, but we're rebranding his company as Paint Corps. And we think that will actually be our biggest brand overall because there's such high demand for home painting, interior and exterior, plus commercial painting. Mm -hmm. um, this young man has grown his business in, in, th in excuse me, four years uh, to 24 service technicians, 11 service vehicles, full-time staff. It's a, it's a really big operation and he's got some great systems that we're gonna be able to share with uh, uh, our fellow veterans. It, it is an owner manager operation. Uh, you're, we don't really expect the, the, the franchise owner to be out there painting, painting mm -hmm. a house. It, it's really for the owner manager type. The other, the other brands are owner operator where you can transition to owner manager over time. Okay. So we like the fact that we have four brands now. So, so someone comes in and say, you know what? Uh, parking lot striping isn't for me. I get that. And normally we'd say, okay, good luck. And now we have three other things for them to consider to look at. And not only that, the power of all these brands networking and throwing each other work is incredible. And between uh, Paint Core and G-Force, we buy a lot of paint, which gives us a, a, a lot of leverage with the manufacturers of paint to, to negotiate better pricing. So it's, it's really a win-win-win all the way around. Mm -hmm. So um, why are veterans, why are they so well suited to be entrepreneurs or why should they consider going into sure. Well, I think, uh, to put it simply, I think veterans get things done. Uh, uh, you know, uh, just because of their backgrounds, they're often put in a position where they really don't, as, as great as my training was in the military, there were, I was always faced with new challenges, like how do we do this? And so uh, by having that, uh, all those successes over the years um, to, to get things done, I think it makes, uh, it makes veterans ideally suited to, to be an entrepreneur, um, particularly in the franchise space. Uh, they can get things done, but they also know how to follow system. Uh, three promises we make uh, to our customers is that we'll show up on time in uniform and be accountable for what we do. That's really kind of what veterans are all about. But that's really lacking in the contractor space. And so we're really selling trust in all of our brands. We're selling trust that when they hire uh, one of our guys or gals to go out and do the job, it'll, it'll get done. And that's somewhat of a rare commodity, sadly, these days. Yeah. So how do you promote your, your um, company, your franchise opportunities? Well, um, we... Obviously, we're targeting veterans, so we, we looked around to say, who's in the in the in the communicating with veteran space? And and we of course we found Victory Media and GI Jobs. I had already been subscribing to like their email blasts and and things I I'd see online. Mm -hmm. So we we built a relationship with them, and um, I would say probably uh, more than ninety percent of our franchisees uh, came through our relationship with GI Jobs. They'll, they'll post ads on, on Facebook and other, uh, other, other spots on the internet that catch, they're, they're pretty eye-catching. It's like, hey, like you can't own one unless you're a veteran. And people are always like, what do you mean? I can't have something or only if you're a veteran. Those ads cause the, uh, the, the vets to, you know, take a, take a look. We wanted to spend, even if we can get a minute or two of their attention on our website, uh, it often leads to them uh, filling out a request for information form. Uh, then we put them into an email drip campaign. Of course, we try to call them and see if they want to chat about it. And, and we use that email drip campaign to communicate and tell our story. And um, eventually we get 
you know, some number that are interested in talking and they don't quite make it to the finish line. Maybe they don't have funding or, you know, they, they just are afraid to make that uh, final plunge. But eventually you do get to those folks who are like, you know, they're really interested. They're excited. They're, they, they, they get it right off the bat. And mm -hmm. uh, those are the folks we're after. And using uh, social media is, is really the, the, the way today to do that. We, of sure. course, we've had some internal referrals, but um, they all started with social media, frankly. How many franchises do you have again? We've got uh, 30 franchise locations. Uh, some of our folks own more than one location. Um, and that's on the G4 side. We just signed our first two Mach 1 epoxy floor franchisees. Um, number two is this week and number one was last week. So uh, this is November and we expect to have a few more um, perhaps signed by uh, right up to the first of the year. Uh, field Ops becomes available in December and Paint Core will be available in January. There's a lot of legal paperwork and, and frankly, the, the building, the architecture of the website takes a, a long time to build it the right way. Mm -hmm. So that's, those two things are, are holding us up from launching it a little sooner. Mm -hmm. So if in, um, someone's interested, a veteran, you know, your email campaign is getting through to them, they wanna learn more. Um, so you help you set them up start to finish with everything. Yeah, so uh, we have one uh, main landing page, if you will, veteranservicebrands.com. They, they can go to that uh, site and it gives you a little blurb about each of our locations. They can request information about one, two, three, or all four, four brands. They'll get uh, uh, dropped into the email campaign that matches what, what their interests are. We also have some relationship with uh, funding resources to help them get through the SBA process. Um, most of our folks have, have used some sort of funding. Uh, they'll tap into uh, their own retirement and repurpose those funds uh, to create a, a corporation. Uh, it's called the ROBS program or a straight up SBA. Uh, they call it express, but uh, with, uh, with COVID, the express has gone from 30 to 40 days to uh, like to 40 to 60 days now, mm -hmm. but it's, it's streamlined. And, and, and there are some benefits to being a veteran. There are some lower costs. Uh, there are some programs there that are really designed to help vets get into business, mm -hmm. whether it's ours or, or any of the other businesses they might look into. Sure. What else should we know about um, G-Force, veteran service brands, opportunities? What else should we know? Well, um, we do have a special program, what we call what we're calling the Founders Discount. The first five uh, franchisees to join us in the Field Ops, Mach One, or Pink or uh, brands receive a very uh, very big discount. Our, our franchise fees are, are lower than the industry uh, normally. Uh, our Mach One and Pink or franchise fees are twenty five thousand. Typical painting franchises can be forty to sixty thousand dollars, so we're well below that. But the first five uh, get a fifteen thousand dollar discount, so they're only paying ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. On our field ops, that's our super low cost franchise uh, model. Um, that franchise fee is is only ten thousand dollars, but the first five will, will come in at five thousand. So uh, if they're seeing this video in January of twenty twenty two. Uh, reading about this, um, there, there still may be some, some uh, uh, discounts available yet. Uh, we expect, we have a very large advertising campaign plan for 2022, and, and we're expecting to add upwards of 50 locations across all four brands at some point. Sorry about that. <laughs> My little ding there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um. Anything else we should know about opportunities? Um, you know, why this is such a great. Sure. Uh, well, I, I think the service uh, industry is, is hot right now and I don't see that abating. Uh, if there's, if someone watching this video is thinking about getting into business, I'd, I'd recommend they consider the service business and not necessarily picture themselves doing the work per se. A lot of the services, uh, businesses or franchises, you're, you're an owner manager and uh, can also think outside the box. 
um, sometimes the things that we find really interesting and, and cool and they're they're often just a fad all of our brands are are pretty meat and potatoes you know parking lots they're boring yes we love that um it's not glamorous awesome that's a great place you know to be is in the non-glamorous uh spot athletic fields you know they're where your kids have to play soccer um epoxy floors are are not they're also they're kind of hot and and, and uh popular right now but that's for a reason because they're really durable they're long lasting and and a lot of the uh, commercial applications are getting away from tile and carpet and and some of the faux woods are, are going to fade away i think too and these uh, polished concrete or epoxy type surfaces are are really here for the for the long run and uh, of course house painting is going to be <laughs> needed forever <laughs> so 